Vince McMahon's involvement in WWE's sale is apparently a hindrance. Carl Anderson's New Japan deal is being considered a nightmare. And we've got an update on AEW Fight Forever's release date. Stay tuned for all the dates. So we've been in this bubble of WWE is potentially going to get sold, WWE's not getting sold, we're going to call it an acquisition, not a sale, maybe it's a sale, but it's also going to be called an acquisition, maybe it's happening, maybe it's oh. not, Vince has gone, Vince is back, what's happening? Uh, and it's just been this this constant rumour mill, uh, and mm -hmm. this bubble is growing and growing and growing and getting ready to pop. Uh, but. Vince is obviously back with the company now, uh, but his return to the company is <laughs> apparently being seen as a hindrance. I mean, now, no surprise there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this comes from the Wrestling Observer. They're reporting that because of the payoffs to a number of women regarding affairs and allegations uh, that some of those situations were not consensual, McMahon's return to the company and involvement in the sale talks has been very controversial. No surprise. No I, I, surprise again. Nearly swore there, Dave. No, 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 no cap. Dave. No cap. Yeah. Oh, uh, but uh, at this stage of the game, the belief is that McMahon's presence is a hindrance and not a help in these negotiations. Although as the largest stockholder, he's also the key beneficiary financially if and when the sale goes down, and for that reason forced his way into that process. And I think from the get-go with the announcement that Vince was coming back, it was a lot of people were like, okay, this seems like it could be, you know, building up to a sale. Yeah. I know there's a lot of things that set off that it could be a sale alarm. Yeah. Uh, but the idea that Vince would come back, you would have, you know, the, the head of the dynasty I guess mm -hmm. the the McMahon that owns it selling it to somebody else um, and as like a complete package. Yeah, but at the same time, you, everything's kind of circling around it. it. It's not surprising that it's causing issues, and it's not surprising that maybe Vince is going to have differing opinions to to people around him because you know we've heard for a long time that Vince is very um, opposed to certain things. He, mm -hmm. He's very sort of he will jump in, and if he doesn't like the way something's going, like script wise, obviously we'd hear yeah. like stuff would just get torn up, rewritten last minute. Um, uh, he, he seems to be quite impulsive, so it, it's no surprise that maybe during these talks uh, it might be a little bit stop-start. Uh, yeah, I can see a lot of back and forth potentially happening. And yeah. Folk, uh, because you've got to, as a, he's got to look at it in what's best for the shareholders, but yeah. I think there's a possibility that there could be what's best for Vince McMahon. That's that's going to be surely number one yeah. um, on, on the entire totem pole, isn't it? So I guess only time's going to tell. I'm still kind of fingers crossed that if it does go through, it's somebody like NBC who has like a, a, a long history with the company mm -hmm. and a good understanding of, of the, the offerings of the My company. My money's still on Disney. I think there's a good chance Disney will swoop in because it's a big acquisition. Yeah. And... I can see, I can see them wanting WWE land at Disney. Yeah, think of all the merch and the. We money were talking and... about this on stream. It, it, I, I, I just, I can't see it. Imagine Disney Park and there's like a Bobby Lashley roller coaster. Absolutely, I mean Beast the, Incarnate. I, I kind of want if like they did it like Islands Hulk. of Adventure, where it was a whole mm -hmm. WWE section. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 or like yeah, like sort of like its own little world within within Disney. Yeah, you've got the Beast Incarnate ride. Get all you've the Legends deals down there. The Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Yeah, that's like the Pepsi Max. We all love the play. Pleasure Beach, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and what other ride? You can't see me. That's something. Yeah, it's John just a, Cena. a roller coaster in the dark. It's like the Buzz Lightyear one at Disney, where you've got to shoot the little aliens, yeah. and that's glowing. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Get, get on Disney, it, Disney. Get on it. If you're watching this, <laughs> money. Money, money, money. <laughs> you owe him a cut, though. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Kota Ibushi now, who's recently left New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, speaking with Dark Puro Resu Flosion. <clears throat> Sorry, speaking with Dark Pro Wrestling Flosion, uh, Ibushi expressed high interest in working with AEW, but made it very clear that he wouldn't rule out working with WWE, which I guess comes as a surprise. Yeah. Uh, well, he's worked with them before. He's worked with them before. Uh, he said, of course, I'm interested in it. I'm good at producing players, and I've created stars, so I don't think there's anyone who can control me in that frame. Uh, I live so freely. I think players in this sense is, uh, I mean, like wrestlers. Wrestlers, like yeah. So he's like, um, he, could, he could help boost the people yeah. up. Uh, so this comes out, you know, Abushi had a short run in 2016 as part of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, of course, and mm -hmm. the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on NXT. And as I said, he recently departed New Japan at the end of January, which is going to be a huge mm -hmm. loss for New Japan. Um, he's already sort of starting to announce dates. He's going to be popping up all yep. over the wrestling world. And I think that it's only a matter of time before somebody swoops in and there's a bidding war. He's because, been for GCW, right? Yeah. Ooh. And this is it. It's sort of like, I, I can see him setting up his own promotion, maybe. I can see him set up an, setting up his own school in the States, maybe. Well, we've already heard him wanting to set up his own school, which is, which yeah. is like, no surprise. Yeah. Kota Bushi 
absolute legend. They'll be queuing for miles to get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but he's just raw talent. It's yeah, like how and more can he? So teach us? this is it. The only thing with WWE is I feel like he he's somebody that has very openly expressed, um, you know, that wrestling is is an art form to him. Yeah, and so it's one of those things where maybe like would would it sort of work with the creative system being a little bit more rigid? It's yeah. a, it's less rigid than it was now, but like with it being a little more rigid, you know, if he just decides I'm going to flip off that balcony, are they going to be fine with it? Just because sometimes the, the current just NXT. takes him. Like he got, he got New Japan banned from Budokan, was it? For jumping off the balcony? Yeah. And it, it's sort of like, I get it, but it, I, I think that AEW seems to me like maybe the, the best landing spot for him. Mm. What it would really blow need, my mind if he, the best he turned landing up in spot, WWE though. Best landing for, spot for him is actually Chase U in NXT. Oh. I Book didn't it. think about him in Book NXT. Book HBK. <laughs> Well, uh, keeping it with the world of indies, according to Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer, a top WWE star whose name's not been revealed has asked the company if they could work PWG. Now, this was prior to Chris Jericho organizing for the JAS to appear on a PWG show. And now speculation's going to run wild. Oh, yeah. I think it was Brock Lesnar. Who do you think it was? Uh, John Cena, obviously. <laughs> uh, he was actually there. We just couldn't hey, see him. Have you not seen uh, Cena's worked indie dates before, like as a it, WWE contractor? It worked, worked at his dad's company. Yeah. And he had, yeah. he had Vince managing him. And yeah. it's surreal. You see Vince come out to like a gymnasium with 300 people. And it's, just, it's that, that, that's Vince McMahon it's on strange. an indie show. It's What's strange, going on? Right. Uh, as for like who it could possibly be, obviously it's yeah. speculation. I feel like folk that have maybe worked PWG in the past before yeah. they signed with WWE, your Sami Zayn's, mm. your Kevin Owens, your Seth Rollins. Yeah, they'd, they'd be huge sort of returns. I personally, I, I'd love to see Montez Ford work with PWG Imagine in some way. The Battle of I think, yeah, I think like if you were able to get like Montez Ford into bowler, yeah. just the, the level of stuff he's going to be able to pull he off. He could, yeah, I suppose they've, and they're, they're in the, the new venue, aren't they? Well, I yeah. say new, it's been that way. Well, yeah, it, it's, well, it's, it's just, it's not the old hall. <laughs> it's not the old hall. So he could jump off stuff. Yeah. And it would look cool. he's just He's just the highest jumping, most athletic human being I think I've ever seen. Really so I, cool. I think just throwing him in there with a load of other highly athletic, highly athletic people. Yeah, like it's just magic's going to happen, right? Yeah, oh, and speedball. Speedball. Oh. Well, uh, moving over to WrestleMania news now. What we got, Fraser? So according to WrestleVotes now, I'm very excited about this because this takes me back to my oh, childhood. Oh, my God. Well, WWE has been filming brand new movie parodies yes for Wrestlemania you know the little vignettes just just, just they use them at Wrestlemania I 21 them. I loved them so much Triple you had, H you had what West Side Story yeah. you had was that Triple no, H's Braveheart. Brave Heart yeah Triple H's Brave Heart I was thinking Brock Lesnar and Jaws but that's SummerSlam that was yeah. SummerSlam yeah. like 2002 yeah but oh, I'm man. very excited for this but some of the names that have been reportedly Pulp involved Pulp Fiction as well Pulp Fiction oh man you've got The Miz Drew McIntyre Sheamus The Brutes and The Street Profits have all been sort of rumoured to or have been reported that they're involved in these vignettes i'm very excited to see the last well it's been 18 years since yeah. the last wrestlemania in hollywood Just don't 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 say things like that fraser i already feel old but there's going to be some really <laughs> it was last month that we were in hollywood yeah, that for was WrestleMania. Last, that was last everything's still great sam <laughs> yeah, absolutely you've not aged a day You've got long hair you live freely you don't yep. have to worry about taxes no taxes no oh. mortgage no anything but yeah, yeah. it's it, i'm very excited for this there's so many films that have come out in the past 15 to 18 years whatever that yeah. they can now make little parodies there's got to be an avengers there's going to be to a avengers. degree yeah. bloodline assemble oh. I, I can't see that roman doing it it's, it's, you've got to give it to johnny gargano sure cody rhodes cody because he's got oh. the big american flag tattoo yeah. and it'll be i don't know Rocky. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. What could we have? Jumanji and just have the rock there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Black Adam and it yeah. just flops. <laughs> I don't know. Well, moving back to New Japan now. Uh, well, it sort of concerns New Japan and WWE, mm -hmm. but this comes from WrestleVotes. Uh, well, sorry, this comes Observer. from the Wrestling Observer. Sorry. Uh, they were reporting that even though New Japan had both WWE and AEW talent on their Wrestle Kingdom event, it was due to a promise made by Carl Anderson. And from a New Japan pro wrestling standpoint, it's said to have been a nightmare to stop it falling through. Yeah. Now, initially, kind of the wrestling world was like, oh, oh, could, could all of the walls be crumbling down? Could the this? Being, could we be seeing just a, a, an open wrestling world uh, and it got quite yeah. exciting but now it, it, it just it's sort of like a nightmare it just seems like that he's had like a big show style 2012 ironclad contract yeah that somehow isn't ironclad but he's allowed to appear WWE has just sort of gone oh this is <laughs> and New Japan's been like 
Guys, he made he made a pinky promise with the thumb. So he's, <laughs> he's got to do it now. That's how ironclad it was. As he's just crawling onto the WWE <laughs> bus, like, trying not to be seen. <laughs> Grabbing him by the leg. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like it's been a, well, they've said it's a bit of a nightmare. I, I was kind of hoping we'd see it continue for a little bit. I mean, it's, it's got to be hell to, to, to work that kind of schedule, yeah. surely. Like, you know, having to, even if it's just every couple of months, having to get on the plane for, what, 14 hours or whatever, get back and yeah. sort of do all that after working and then come back and work WWE. WWE shows, uh, it, it's got to be hard. So mm-hmm. I, I, I can see it maybe, you know, I becoming more of a thing. But it, it, it sort of that was before. This whole, uh, it's yeah, a nightmare. this looks like the exception rather than, yeah, than it, it's the new something normal. that that, that it, it's a rare occurrence. But just yeah. be thankful that we got to see it. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and now we're going to go over to AEW. Yeah, we've got an update on the bunny. So the bunny suffered a nasty injury this past week on Dynamite. It was a match with Jamie Hater. It mm. was a really, really sort of worryingly abrupt finish. They kind yeah. of went to hit her with a haterade. Done. One, two, three. Well, PW Insider has given us an update on her injury and is reporting that the belief backstage is that she suffered a concussion and possibly broke her orbital bone, which, which is, is the really face, right? nasty. It's, We've it's seen like it before. Here. I think Austin Aries broke it Taker back in broke NXT. His, and that's why he had to wear had a mask, mask all those years ago. She, the bunny's just recently back from injury as well, so yeah. it really sucks to see this happen. Uh, the exact nature of the injury has not been revealed by AEW or anyone sort of like official. Which it's just reports that surprising AEW tends to keep everything close to their chest. Tony said yeah. he, he uses it. Tony, my mate Tony. Uh, Tony Khan said that he, he tends to keep things close to his chest because it's it's one of those things, unless somebody's going to be out for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. It's um, personal as well. That, then it kind of, it allows them to to keep it vague and it allows yeah. them to feed into storylines with people's return dates, yeah. etc. And it's, I guess, less speculation overall, which is going to be nice for the talent. Maybe. Yeah, they're, they're not sort of like, it's, it's, I guess it's a personal thing, getting an injury and the yeah. folk going, ooh, what's up? What's up when, are you, when are you going to be back? When are you going to be back? <laughs> exactly. But she will undergo medical testing very, very soon and maybe we'll get official confirmation. I think with it being very public, that injury, there yeah. may be an exception to the case. Um, but yeah, hopefully the bunny is all good soon. Yeah, fingers crossed. Sending our best up the, sending our best the bunny's way. That was a mouthful to say. Sending the best the bunny's way. Sending the best the bunny's way. Sending our best yeah. the bunny's way. Sending our best anyway. But keeping it with AEW for the final story here. This one, um, I mean, AEW could be about to revolutionize not just pro wrestling, but pro wrestling video games. There's more than one uh, wrestling <laughs> video game. Wrestling has more than one AAA video game series. Uh, this comes from Andrew Zarian of the Matt Men podcast, and he's reported that according to a source of his AEW, AEW, uh, source of his, sorry, AEW Fight Forever is currently stated for a Q2 release. So quarter two this that year, that's, that's yeah, very soon. Between April and June. Yeah, so that's so a big summer window. Yeah, now usually there's a big drought of games in that sort of period. Yeah. Most games were released uh, in the typically, as you see in E3, the fall, mm. and it'll be like towards Christmas. Yeah. We've been waiting for this game for a while. I'm yeah, gonna, it feels like forever since it was announced. I'm going to put a prediction down right now. Yeah. May 19th. May 19th. May 19th. May 19th. It's when we will see it. If you could do the 30th, that'd be a nice birthday treat because I've got Game Pass. If you've got Game Pass, it's day one. It might not be. It might not be. It might not be. So, what have I even got Game really Pass sorry, for, Sam, Fraser? I've not been I, playing I, on it. I've been saving it for a... Play the, the new cell-shaded one. It looks really good. The, oh, the, the Hi-Fi Rush is banging. Rush is really yeah, good. But really yeah, it, they've got, it's been approved for a T rating. That was the thing that seemed to have made, made the delay happen. They were, they've were they got a description up now, and there's lots of things like, there is blood, there is swearing. There is MJF's there is, blue Camaro. There is one, one thing that made me laugh was <laughs> exposed buttocks. And then it's just like... <laughs> Of course, that uh, that's in this game, and like it's it's uh, I I kind of I love that Ukes used to have so many ridiculous backstage segments through like the career modes, and that's one thing I'm hoping is going to return. Well, especially with AEW being so comical. AEW Fight Forever exposed buttocks coming out at quarter two. Supposedly, hopefully, we'll get an announcement at Revolution. You think? Yeah. You get a trailer and they go, you can play it just after Double or Nothing. Oh, yeah. If they if they had like an immediate after pay per view release, that'd be oh. There we go. Very very good. Delicious, some would say. But anyway, that's it for video two. We have got to get ourselves over to the venue now as fast as possible for Kaolic Live. So you. we're going to go now. We'll see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. We might see you later if you come in. If not, stay tuned to the channel. Just, yeah, there's loads of stuff coming yeah. out. Tie bye.